everyone, welcome to today's video. I am going to show you how to do easy winged liner. Is there such thing? I think so. Um, I am going to demonstrate this Beauty Blender Liner Designer Pro little doohickey thing. I mean, could we just use any old straight edge, like this is a business card, or do we need this little gadget thingy for $16? <laughs> or can we just use our hands? I should have like three eyes so I can give you three examples. But I got this at Sephora. It was in my latest Sephora, um, my latest Sephora haul, and it was only $16. So it, it isn't that much money, um, but it's kind of like, is it worth even bothering? So it comes in this little container that um, is pretty cute, and it has a suction. So you put the suction on the back of it where it says place suction here, and then the inside, see it looks kind of like a guitar pick. It's a little bit round and it's a little bit straight. Do you see that? That's more straight and that has like a slight curve. And then, um, and it's flexible, just so you know. And then inside here, there is a magnified mirror. So the idea is you can put it on a surface, like stick it to your other mirror, and then you have, you know, magnification, which we all love. I mean, I hate, but I guess if you got it, you got it. So I don't think I'm going to be using the little thing here. I like a bigger space, but I am going to be using um, on this side, the Beauty Blender Designer Pro. And on this side, where are you? My business card. See, that's me. This is actually an old business card. And actually I've used this before because it has liner on it. So I'm gonna see which one works better. But let me just, I saw this on Sabrina's channel and I was like, oh my God, she just uses it and makes it look so easy. I'm gonna do that. Um, so, and I'm also gonna use my K palette liner that I love so much. And let's give her a go. I've seen uh, YouTube videos that have used like spoons and like, a knife in their thumbnail. I'm assuming they don't use a knife on their eye. I mean, you know, I guess you could on the non-sharp side. Come on, people. All right, so let me take this and I'm gonna lay it along my lash line first. Like I did in my bargain of the week video. I am wearing some mascara, but I'm gonna touch it up. This is like uh, lazy day makeup. So I am going to take it to almost the edge of, so I am going to put it along the corner. Okay. And there we go. And then what you need to do is you need to finish the line by making like a triangle. Oh, thank you. Fill it in, okay? And if my line looks like it's a little bit higher than somebody else's, <laughs> it's because I have droopy lids. Slightly droopy lids, okay, just slightly. And if I do it all the way at the bottom, it just kind of looks like my, yeah, okay. So I didn't go very far out, as you can see. Just a little bit. I'm kind of all for the subtle. But that was fun, that was easy. Now I'm going to take my business card. Oops. 
Oopsie. And I'm gonna just kind of lay down my liner. Lay down, Sally. I know, I know you're watching. That's a little inside joke to someone who commented on my bargain of the week. There you go. Okay. So here we are. Business card. You want to line it up with the corner of your eyeball, kind of to the end of your eyebrow, and just trace it. Okay, so that that maybe wasn't as clean as the beauty blender side. Yeah, oh, oh well, now I just kind of messed it up. This is funny. Beauty Blender is watching this going, yes, she screwed up with the business card. We need to sell our tool. I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> you guys, it's a double line. That's totally what I intended to do. Okay. Uh huh. So. <laughs> oh, this is funny. So I'm kind of correcting it and pulling in the triangle part that comes down here to continue the line. And I could just kind of clean it up maybe. Yeah. So I didn't even have to clean up the beauty blender side. but I'm cleaning up the business card side. So I think what it proves is that because of this flexible, smaller material, you can get you can get it really close to your eye and you can push on it and it's softer. You're not gonna like paper cut your face or stab yourself in the eye with a spoon or a knife and you're just gonna really get in there. So you can do different shapes. Um, I suppose, and I'm not really sure. There's a whole little instruction booklet inside on what to do with the different angles because some people, you can go on top of the lid and do like a double liner. And um, yeah, <laughs> people, let's settle down. Um, so I think that I'm gonna put some mascara So I'm voting yay for the Blender Designer, the Liner Designer Pro. I think it's worth it, I really do. I thought it was some kind of gimmicky thing. And if you have a skilled hand, like my daughter is so good at the wing. Um, she just sort of sketches it and does it and takes so much time and is very precise. And I know a lot of you don't feel that way, whether it's you just don't trust how precise or steady your hand is, you are not very well practiced at it, or you just don't wanna take the time. So I really do think this is kind of a fun little thing, and it's only $16, so I say yay. Easy eyeliner, right? It does exist. Thanks everyone for joining me in this video. I hope it was helpful and informative and entertaining as always. And if you want any more videos in your inbox or whatever, then subscribe <laughs> to my channel and I will leave all the links that are relevant below as well as discount codes on other products you know, yada, yada, whatever, whatever. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much and I will see you next time.